Well, there are multiple educational pathways to a good job, and the Indiana Commission for Higher Education says it supports pathways not only for high school graduates, but also for returning adults. In our Eye on Education segment this week, Commissioner Teresa Lubbers is here to explain how a high school diploma, coupled with uh, an industry certification or workforce credential, can actually jumpstart a career. And uh, Teresa, welcome back as always. Thank you, Gary. Uh, lots to get to here. First of all, you gave in April your uh, State of Education report a number of uh, things coming out of that, including these educational pathways. When you talk about pathways and um, what they mean, what they can mean for a variety of people, what, what are you talking about? We're talking about everybody having an opportunity to fully participate in the new economy. So that's everything from graduating high school students to a returning adult who might come back at 35 or 40 or even later, aligning what people know with what they do. Mm -hmm. And so multiple pathways are really important in that regard. And one size fits all doesn't really work. Is it you know, a changing face of education, I guess, but also maybe a change in the culture of Indiana that's taking place to understand what education really is all about including the whole lifelong uh, learning model. Absolutely. We're in the process of changing a culture of a state where you could get a good job without education beyond high school. Mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, increasingly not the case. 99% of the new jobs that have been created since the recession require some sort of education mm -hmm. beyond high school. That doesn't mean a four-year degree for everybody, but some sort of a quality credential or training beyond high school. And we need to make sure that Hoosiers throughout the state understand that and are prepared. In, you, in your uh, address, you also talked about a new higher education compact. What we want to make sure is that we understand that uh, at a time when we're telling people that education beyond high school is more important than ever, that they can afford it, that they're getting degrees that matter, that are aligned to the needs of the workforce. It's really about personal prosperity and well-being, meeting the needs of the employers, and strengthening Indiana's economy. That's all part of the new compact. Mm -hmm. uh, switching gears a little bit, but in, in terms of the state of education, the annual college readiness report uh, came out. A couple of takeaways. One that I uh, noticed is remediation rates that were 28 percent or so in 2012, all the way down to 12 percent, so a big, pretty big improvement. Yes, and that's so important. Uh, when students start to college and they need remediation, it is they are far less likely to complete. Mm -hmm. They may use financial aid without ever until they start in those credit-bearing mm -hmm. courses. So making sure that they, we understand that they're college-ready and they don't need remediation has been a big success in recent years. And you're seeing lots more students in high school uh, earning credit, earning college credit in high school, right? We reported this time that 64% of students graduating from high school have some sort of early college credit, wow. AP or dual credit, mm -hmm. meaning that they are more likely to go to college, graduate on time and be prepared for the world of work. Mm -hmm. How about the 21st Century Scholars Program, a uh, really high-profile program? I think next year, uh, the 30th anniversary for that program. What is the state of the 21st Century Scholars? It is a marquee program. It has been replicated across mm -hmm. the country. 21st Century Scholars are seeing double-digit improvements. They're going to college at the highest level of any population. 86% of, of uh, scholars go ahead on into higher education. They're persisting. They're completing at higher levels. And you, when you compare them to their low-income peers, because this is an income Based program. Mm -hmm. When you compare them to their low income peers, they are exceeding them in every level. Mm -hmm. Low income students who are not 21st century scholars, we are not seeing the same level of mm -hmm. success. Mm -hmm. As you look at college going rates, uh, the numbers suggest that those uh, college going rates in Indiana have decreased slightly, putting Indiana below the, the national average. Cause for concern, uh, dynamics involved? We're here. about at the same, we're within, it's about two thirds, and that's at the national average is 65 to 66. Mm -hmm. We've gone from 65 to 64 to 63. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's concerning yet. I think we need to watch it and make sure that we understand that people are accessing some sort of higher learning mm -hmm. beyond high school. The good news story in the midst of all that is the, those who are going are more prepared and are more likely to succeed. We're seeing mm -hmm. in the last five years we, we're producing 10,000 more credentials. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're seeing uh, double digit improvements in on-time completion. So the, the metrics that we use are very positive. A lot of focus continues to be on education, on workforce and that relationship between between business uh, and education. Teresa Lubbers, the Commissioner of the uh, Indiana Commission for Higher Education. As always, thanks for being here. My pleasure. All right.